Keeping livers alive boosts transplant success. It's alive! It's alive! A clinical trial published in the journal Nature has found preserving livers in warm storage similar to body temperature rather than cold storage improves transplant success. The trial involved 222 liver transplants at seven European medical centers. It looked at cold transplants versus warm livers connected to a perfusion machine. The participants were randomly picked to receive a warm liver or one preserved on ice. According to the BBC, the scientists found 50% less tissue damage in the warm livers. They also found that warm livers had a higher transplant success rate compared to cold ones. Only 16 out of the 137 warm livers had to be discarded, compared to 32 out of 133 cold ones. Researchers hope the study can help reduce the number of people that die waiting for transplants each year. It's better under the knife. Teen takes fangirling to the extreme. An Angelina Jolie ultra fan from Iran is going viral after journeying through a thousand cuts to look like her idol. The 19-year-old claims she's undergone over 50 surgeries to achieve her shocking transformation. She's also lost a ton of weight in her quest to be as slim as Jolie and now weighs just 88 pounds. The teen has been posting photos of her new look on her Instagram, which has amassed nearly 500,000 followers. Netizens have been pretty brutal with their comments, saying she looks more like Tim Burton's corpse bride than a Hollywood star. Others aren't buying the crazy plastic surgery shtick and believe she's using makeup and prosthetics to exaggerate her features. If she is, then those are some mad skills. One user on Reddit is convinced she's using Photoshop too, after spotting weird distortions in some of her photos. Whatever it is, if internet fame was the end game, then she definitely got her 15 minutes. Grounded due to plastic surgery. Three Chinese women reportedly weren't allowed to board their flight and got stuck in an airport in South Korea after getting massive plastic surgery done. The three Mulans looked like they just got out of a boxing match with swollen faces and lips and their heads wrapped in bandages. They were stopped by South Korean immigration officials. No, not for bad judgment, but for looking nothing like their passport photos. The picture of the three beasts was widely shared over knockoff Chinese social media platforms. It's become a thing over the past decade for insecure Chinese women to travel to South Korea to go under the knife so they can get transformed into ugly women who clearly look like they've gotten way too much work done. Chinese women in search of a new face visit South Korea using medical tourist visas. Almost 100,000 Chinese visited South Korea in 2016 to get things pumped up, sliced off, and reshaped. No word on what happened to the three women, but they're still in South Korea. Maybe they should think about some plastic surgery. Oh, wait. Anything for Snoopy! A dog owner in London is willing to give everything she owns just to save her beloved pet Yorkie Cheese Snoopy. Dolly Ann Osterlow met Snoopy nine years ago when she rescued him from a kill shelter in New Jersey. The poor pup had been abandoned by a family after Christmas and was found in a trash bin. Since his rescue, the pair have been inseparable. But during a vet checkup to assess Snoopy's breathing difficulties, he was diagnosed with mitral valve disease and given only a few more months to live. Poor little fella has to take medication 11 times a day to help with this condition and can only be saved if he undergoes surgery. Osterlo had chanced upon a pioneering treatment by a team of Japanese and French surgeons in Paris that could reportedly restore Snoopy back to health. Problem is, the surgery costs an eye-watering 37,000 pounds and needs to be paid in cash. And even with their savings of bank loan and donations, Osterlo still came up short. To make up the rest of the money, the 32-year-old former actress opened her London apartment for 24 hours and put all her belongings up for sale. Thankfully, the tactic worked. Osterlo now has the money to pay for her precious pet surgery and may even have extra from her GoFundMe page. Seems Snoopy is set for his September 19th surgery in Paris. Get well soon, buddy! Gastric balloon could help people lose weight. A gastric balloon that can be swallowed has proven to be able to help obese people lose a significant amount of weight without surgery. The gastric balloon is swallowed and placed in the stomach like a pill. Once in the stomach, a long thin tube connected to it fills the balloon with water. The tube is then detached and pulled out of the body. The balloon remains in the body for 16 weeks. After that, the water is released and the balloon is excreted through the digestive system. 
A study conducted in Portugal shows that the device helped 38 patients lose a mean weight of 15.2 kilograms by the end of 16 weeks, which is about a third of their excess weight. The device is available in Europe, but has not been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration.